What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. And moving on to the next video, we're now gonna discuss the underlying assumptions of accounting. And before getting into the assumptions, I want to start off by differentiating between what qualities are, which we've already gone over, the six qualitative characteristics of accounting. We went over that in the previous section. So I wanna differentiate between qualities assumptions, which is what we're going to be doing in this video or this next set of videos. It's probably going to be multiple videos. I think I'm going to spend a lot of time here. And then uh, principles as well, which is what we'll be covering for the rest of the course. So lots of times students get confused between these three things. And a lot of textbooks, they just mention qualities, assumptions, and principles, but they don't really mention the differences between them or how they relate to each other. So I want to start off by differentiating between these three things. Now, qualities, like we've already gone over, just in general, they're basically characteristics to have. Qualities are the characteristics that... Um, that you wanna have in accounting for the financial information. Now, assumptions is basically how the entity operates in its environment. And that's what we're gonna be covering in this next section, and I'll expand on this in a second. And then principles, I've mentioned this earlier in a previous video. The principles are basically specific rules or uh, procedures or instructions to follow in order to have these qualities or to have these characteristics. So before actually getting into the accounting of it, let's relate this to a personal example, to an easier example. So let's say that there's a person and they wanna be fit and healthy. They wanna have that quality. They want that to be a characteristic about themselves. They wanna be fit and healthy. Well, what's an assumption that we can make about this person if they wanna be fit and healthy? How would they operate in their environment? How would they go about their daily lives? Well, we would assume that they are eating healthy, eating the proper food. We would assume that they are exercising There'd be other assumptions, assuming that they're sleeping properly, et cetera, et cetera. Let's just leave it for uh, at um, two assumptions, just to keep it simple. But certain assumptions we would make about how they are going about their daily lives, how they're operating in their environment. And then the principles, this would be the specific rules that they're following in order to be fit and healthy. So this would be like a specific diet maybe they're following what foods they are eating, uh, certain what kind of exercise program they're going through. And then you can get even more specific with this, like how many sets are they doing? How many reps if they're weightlifting or if they're running or swimming? How many kilometers are they running, et cetera, et cetera. So this is more specific here, right? So quality, characteristic, they wanna be fit and healthy, assumptions, we're assuming they're eating healthy, assuming they're exercising, assuming they are sleeping well, et cetera, et cetera. Basically assumptions about how they're operating in their environment in order to have these characteristics here. And then principles, this is the specific rules, procedures, instructions, the specific actions that they're going through in order to be fit and healthy. So what specific diet are they uh, eating? What exercise program are they on, et cetera, et cetera. And so to relate all of that back to accounting, qualities, we got the six qualities here, which we've already went over in a previous section, the six qualitative characteristics of financial information. 
And then over here, what we're gonna be doing in this section is going over these assumptions of accounting, how the entity operates in its environment, right? So the going concern, continuity assumption will go over, separate entity assumption, historical cost assumption, unit of measure assumption, sometimes it's called the stable monetary unit. Uh, and then the fifth assumption is time period assumption or the periodicity assumption. And I uh, want to make a heads up that some textbooks may not go over all of these. So the list in your specific course and your specific textbook may be different, but I took the most popular ones that you'll see in most textbooks. And that's what I'm going to make uh, videos on. This list should be the same. Quality should be the same in all textbooks, but this list here could differ, but most likely you're going to run into all of these. If not, then the vast majority of them. And then uh, principles for accounting already mentioned this. They're called the generally accepted accounting principles. So it's gap. And that's what the whole course, the rest of the course is going to be based on. We're going to be going over the specific rules, the specific procedures and instructions of how to create financial statements from the uh, financial data and create the statements in a way where this quality, these qualities here are maximized. So that's going to be later in the course. But what I'm going to focus on in this section is going over each of these five assumptions separately.